Hi friends, today I just would like to say something about emotional well-being. When your emotional well-being is so strong, then your life becomes more happy and you can perform tasks well. Emotional well-being is the most important thing which really draws our attention. And this is something that people do neglect about. And we have to be more conscious about whether we are so well emotionally or do we get any influences from external forces, be it friends and the people whom we have been associated with or else acquainted with recently. Emotional intelligence is a different concept from emotional um, well-being. Emotional intelligence could be appropriately described as something that one can handle um, and balance life when things go in different directions. That's all together where you can apply uh, your logical thinking and, uh, and critical analysis to get rid of the risk that you must be facing at the moment. Whereas the emotional well-being uh, comes from uh, serenity and tranquility. So when, you, when your mind is so peaceful, when you read good literature and the messages that you get um, out of those scriptures and when you read the holy books, um, and when you just read uh, or else go through a book which is uh, very inspirational, sometimes we, we browse through the books in the libraries and, uh, and we, we, we even uh, experience uh, some important uh, lessons from the people too. So anything that gives happiness is uh, going to set some trends in life that we may sometimes adopt. That yes, it is going to be like this, so I just would like to take this into my life. So emotional well-being can be best uh, uh, explored with uh, appropriate understanding of uh, uh, how people behave with others and how people take uh, certain decisions. I mean, making decisions is another important aspect which uh, determines the overall performance of uh, one's emotional status. So, when you really have to perform well in your life, be it in profession or else in your family, society and deal with people, your emotional well-being is the most important thing and that you shouldn't forget. And your, when your emotional well-being is apt and then it works well, I think, uh, I'm sure that you are going to win the people. So winning people is very important these days because we live in the world of, uh, um, in the world of communication, right? So communication and collaborative team skills and, um, and uh, intrapersonal skills and interpersonal skills and organizational abilities, leadership qualities, soft skills, communication skills. For all these things, uh, we, we just need emotional well-being. So when we are perfect emotionally, we can deal with all these things in a seamless manner which uh, allows us to make more progress and we could, we could have more you know, baskets of uh, accomplishments which are really fruitful. And the last but not the least, I just would like to say, if your emotional well-being is to be strong and healthy, you must uh, give importance to um, decluttering your brain. So declutter your brain. What, what does it mean? So when you declutter everything that just got crammed up in your brain just because of certain instants in life and and uh, <clears throat> the life that's, that's been very much, uh, you know, uh, very much um, inactive and uh, yes due to you know people's uh, misinterpretations about your habits misinterpretations about your life so there are many things which would contribute for um, lack of self-esteem sometimes so when you lose your self you tend to become more upset okay so that uh, state is not good for making decisions so emotional well-being can best be practiced with uh, uh, good time management Okay? and having good bunch of friends and um, reading good books preferably those which uh, you know the books which would inspire you from time to time and uh, spending with family members as well as uh, uh, reminiscing the previous good age old incidents which gave you a lot of happiness the time that you spent with your sister spent with your dad mom as well as the people whom you love still such things will help you and uh, above all have passion about life because passion is like fuel that's going to give a lot of confidence. When you feel confident, your practices would absolutely change. When they change, you are going to be strong and you can be resolute too. I'm sure you are going to make appropriate decisions.
When you make appropriate decisions, your actions will be crystal clear. When they are, then the results will be imminent and you will get lots and lots of appreciations. Okay? So I think this is uh, something that I just wanted to share with you about emotional well-being. This is the root cause for all miseries. When your emotions are really not stable, you are going to make bad decisions. When your emotions are good, and when you think somebody is good, somebody's philosophy is good, and something is good and right to do that, well, it's going to give a lot of confidence in your life. I wish you good success and great, great success as well as good luck. Bye for now. This is NMR Polgarni.